Alright guys, it's time to finally work on some Hydra. Yes, it is time. Let's go. Time to get the lance, the gloves, and the brimstone ring. Yes, trying to get all of them. And a uh, mystic top actually, yeah. It would be nice to get a mystic top finally. Uh, I think we can retire the Zerikian rope top for sure, man. Like, man, this needs to go. 96 Slayer, what? Yeah, pretty much. Takes forever to kill this boss. Oh, it works! Nice! Yo, that's sick! Holy shit, I can't believe I actually found a way to do that. So I can declaw right at the start of the, uh, the last phase with no penalties. That's sick. Oh my god, that's gonna help so much, man. Hydra is omega slow. So the declaws came in handy. So glad I tried. Oh, personal best. Instant PB once I use my range bot. <laughs> ah, I love it. Absolutely love it. 211. Oh my god. I just I pumped this dude for 270s, the claws. Oh, PB 204, bro. That's sick. That is sick, man. 204 PB. Oh, yes! Mystic! Yo! I got the Mystic top! Let's go! Yes! Yes, now I can do some raids with, like, so much better accuracy. Oh my god. Alright, so this was my mage setup. Uh, the Serechian top is the thing that's been there since the dawn of time. Everything else has been upgraded, and finally, we got to replace the top. Oh man, I look like a clown though with this, but eight more magic accuracy. That's like another tone of fire accuracy right there. Oh, that's nice, man. No more Zurichian top, bro. I think my mage gear is finally accurate enough though. I noticed it a lot more than like when I went from 70 to 80. Man, the dream though, 100 magic accuracy dream. That's gonna require ancestral top or the or the uh, code I want. Uh, did I kill on time? Woof! Magic is still just you know a little bit too scary to kill off last. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm, dragon stone bolts. Oh my god, I just subbed two minutes? <laughs> That's crazy, bro. With broad arrows of all things. Okay, yeah, you yeah. know. Holy shit, that was crazy. Oh shit, purple boys. Hell yeah. On a really good raid as well. Honestly, I'm feeling another duplicate. Alright, here we go, boys. Nani? Yep, another duplicate on 199. 200 KC though. Uh, no milestone task though. That's kind of disappointing, but... I know there's one in 250, so should be able to get there at some point. There we go, 20,000 broad arrows. Almost 100 hydras took me almost 5,000. Yeah, yeah, it was like 5,000 for 100. It's actually crazy. So, so yeah, 20,000 uh, estimated 400 hydra kills. So we can hopefully get a lot out of that, man. Hey, finally a hundred alchemical hydra kills. 1.1 mil, 2.2 mil. 120 dragon bones that trip. What the hell? That's like a 20 20 kill trip. Not bad. Let's chill. Oh shit! 97 farming, 2,000 total. Wait, you only get 250 points for that? Wow. I feel like that's a jib, bro. 2,000 total, man. I guess that's as close to maxing for me in Twisted League as I guess. Yo, what the fuck? I just got a chemical hydra head. Uh, okay. Oh shit, I just hit 97 Slayer. Hell yeah. At this rate, I might get to 99 Slayer before I get all the stuff from Hydra. Whoa, magic seeds? Let's go. Farming XP. Oh, Hydra's high. Let's go. 164 kills. We got our first uh, real unique. Hell yeah, brother. I'll take that. Two more pieces for the Brimstone Ring. Yeah, Brimstone Ring is the only ring in Twisted League with actual stats. So, uh, oh, Clue Scroll, what is that? 
Elite Clue? I guess I'm gonna take a break. Ooh, this is crazy. It's been a while since I've been able to complete this. Uh, all right, here we go. Yo, <laughs> okay. I mean, I can wear the Dragon Stone Ring, I guess, for fashion escape. It doesn't do anything. I can imbue it, and it can pick up coins for me. You know, we can do that. I wish this gave me prayer, though. This doesn't give prayer. But I can wear this for fashion escape, so. There it is. Holy shit. I just hit 50 million hit points. And that's 500 points. Oh my lord. 18.25k. Oh wow, I just hit 50 mil range. That was fast. Alright, I got some fancy Dranstone bolts from 200 Hydras. 1.5k. I'm just gonna test them out real quick. I should, hopefully should be able to dodge electricity. Oof. That was tight. Oh my god. Oh, 59 with the Dragonstone bolts. Easy game. Oh shit, I just hit that 64. That was amazing. Oh shit, I just got a Hydra's Fang. Yo, is that a two-thirds ring piece? Let's freaking go, man. Hey. Oh! <gasps> Boys, 240kc, bro. Oh my god. Yo. Holy shit. That's insane. Oh my god. Holy god damn, bro. That's sick. We have the lance. Holy shit. That 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 is actually amazing to get as the first first completed item from uh, Hydra. The most important item. Damn, dude. Now we can use the Lance at Hydra to get the rest of the drops. I heard it's actually better than the MSB. Holy shit, dude. After this trip, man, we're going to be rocking a new setup. Nice. 250 alchemical Hydra kills. Yep, 50 Pog. Yeah, I think that's my max right now is 50. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got a bombless bucket, too. Damn, today's today's a good ass day for RNG boys. Oh shit, I got a new PB. I didn't even realize it. <laughs> One forty eight. Yeah, I can definitely confirm that the lance is definitely faster than my MSB with broad arrows by quite a bit. I think it was like on average ten seconds faster. All right, guys, let me introduce you to our uh, new regular uh, rate setup. Yeah, we uh, don't need the whip anymore because the lance is pretty much going to cover uh, that. And it's also going to cover for my cudgel because it's pretty much the same stats as a cudgel, same speed for crush. It's also disgusting for stab for, uh, at fossil as well, so it covers that as well. And also best in slot melee for ohm, so yeah, that's that's crazy. It's, it's all the specialties in one. Actually disgusting. But yeah, man, let's go ahead and uh, have a test run, you know, with the lance. See how much uh, faster. 46! Let's go, man. I had a feeling I could get higher than a 44. Holy shit. We're just absolutely destroying this hand. What the hell, bro? I'm already halfway done with this hand, and I just got to the melee hand, imagine. What the frick? Monka. Alright. Oh shit, we got a purple on the first raid with the lance. Alright, here we go, boys. <laughs> Another arcane. Ah, uh, that this is our dupes. Arcanes and twisted bugglers. Alright, first test. Uh we went in at I believe 16 minutes. Yeah, 16 minutes. Holy shit, that almost 15 minutes, bro. That is that is so freaking fast. And keep in mind, I'm not using Toma Fire. Is like 16, 17 minutes. Lance brought that down first try by a whole minute and, and probably a half overall. Crazy, dude. Combined with the tome, sub 22 is within reach. And possibly even the sub 20. Wow, that was, that was great, man. So the Lance, as I suspected, is pretty much a cultural tecton. I didn't really notice a whole lot, you know, with the... Uh, five accuracy difference 
Probably because maybe the rune boots gave me the extra max hit to compensate. Oh, that's so unlucky, bro. My prayer dropped literally as the freaking red ball was coming. So I just did another raid with Lance and I got 14 minutes completion on all without a tome of fire. Absolutely insane. That's about a minute and a half to two minutes faster than usual. Then we can just stab this guy with the lance. So the cudgel wasn't as good as the lance when it comes to stabbing the crystals. But yeah, the, the lance is so good at finishing off the crystals, man. That stab focus, you know, 100 plus stab is so nice. So we are going to try to beat this time. The sub 22 minute. And for this one, we have our weapons now. You know, we have our magic tome, we have our lance. And we'll be bringing the Warhammer, you know, to make this one possible. The sub 22 minutes. Alright, I have 1.3k Dragon Bones from Hydra. It's insane. This is like 200 Hydra kills. I'm pretty sure at this point, I have enough stuff to get all the way to a 92 prayer. Yeah, that's where I get an extra prayer point. So, with my prayer pots, I think I'm gonna go commit. Oh, there it is. 92 prayer. Hey, I'm done. What the hell? Another spirit seed? Tracy, what the frick? <laughs> Let me show you a demonstration of melee hydro with a lance. So, to start off, it's pretty straightforward. I stand at that square and let the hydro come to me. And then, once it's there, I just uh, hit it down to the 800 and I believe around 20 HP mark. That's when it will uh, turn into the blue form. So I just position myself there as you can see. And I just wait for the Hydra to move on to the next phase. And when I see it's transitioning, I go all the way north to the wall. And then I wait for it to get to the pool. And once it's there, I attack again while it's on the blue phase so this is uh the most important part to be honest with you because you have to dodge the electricity uh very soon so electricity is coming out i gotta get as many hits as i can before i get you know stung now i move all the way to the middle of the northern wall and then i kite along the northern wall to the west wall and then i start going down south a bit towards the middle and then i run back that way i lower the blue hydra into the vent and also i don't get hit by electricity so this is where I typically stand every time I'm in the red phase because uh, once the red phase starts transitioning over to the flame wall, my character will path correctly onto the spot so I can you know use it to skip the uh, flame wall. So as you can see, my character paths nicely there. I did this kill too fast, but I'll show you a clip where I, I actually show you how I skip the flame wall. So just copy exactly what I do and you should be able to skip it every time. You just gotta make sure you move when it's about to spit the flame towards you. Wow, that was fast, man. What is that kill? <laughs> PB boys, 144. Nice. Oh shit, 98 Slayer. Damn. Uh, good chance I'll have 99 Slayer pretty soon, but uh, I don't plan on getting any like XP milestones though beyond that, like the 25 mils. Oh! <laughs> Yo, it's done! The ring! The ring! The ring! My precious! Yes, boys! Uh, I'm so glad I decided to finish up the 100 kills for the day. Oh, man. We can make the brimstone ring. We can finally uh, fill in this slot with something that actually has stats. Oh, god damn, that's amazing. That is amazing! Yes! Alright, guys. Write down in the comments, at what KC will I be getting the Ferocious Gloves, guys? Does it even tell me? Oh, 50 points! What is- that's a scam? But whatever, it's okay. Look at those stats, guys. Oof. It's basically uh, the DK's rings combined, except not imbued, of course, but yeah. Ah, it's got accuracy bonuses for every single style. Um, yeah, 4 and everything, except magic, which is 6. And it has that melee strength bonus of 4, which means I gain a guaranteed max hit pretty much on my melee. 
on top of being more accurate. So yeah, man, my Dragon Lance should be hitting a 47 now at the Ohm. And uh, yeah, a 51 at Hydra. It has a passive ability that one in four of your magic hits will ignore the enemy's magic defense by 10%. In a way, it's a bit more than just the plus six magic accuracy. It also has that passive effect, which makes things like uh, possibly vanguards and of course, you know, ohm uh, slightly less splashy. So that's gonna be amazing. I, I totally appreciate that, man. That's amazing. Best in slot ring and sheeps. All that's left is best in slot melee gloves, the ferocious gloves from Hydra. Alright guys, uh, another quick demo of the setup here, you know, some slight changes, uh, the brimstone ring pretty much. Everything else you've seen before, but yeah, now we're packing, you know, we're packing some serious, serious accessories. 